Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Hey y'all, it's me, me Sharice, and I am back with another video. We're just gonna hop right into it, per usual, you already know. Um, gonna recreate this blue, smoky, metallic eye. Um, yeah, so let's just hop right into it. So I'm gonna start off using my Beauty Creations Elsa palette. And I am going to go into this, it's kind of like a skin tone, um, pale brown color, but I'm gonna start off with you, that as my transition color. And I always start off putting that color, whatever color I choose, right above my crease or right onto my brow bone, and I'm just shifting back and forth. This color you can't really see because it's pretty close to my lid, but it will act nicely as a transition color. And then next, I'm gonna hop right into this. Um, it's like a rust orange color. This look is very, very simple. And I'm putting that into my crease and I'm just shifting back and forth from inner corner to outer corner right in that crease. And then I will start to blend upward. If you can see that. So what's going on, y'all? What's going on? I am excited to be filming. My subscribers are constantly going up. I'm over 300 now, so I'm very excited about that. Turn up, turn up. Whoa. <laughs> my kids would be very disappointed if they seen me do that right now. So we not gonna tell nobody but I'm pretty excited, super dope. Trying to keep the looks coming. I My goal is to keep everything simple. Like, I want everything that I do on this channel to be something that we all can do. Um, nothing too, you know, intricate or too, too difficult. So I'm trying to create looks along those lines. So if you have any suggestions, let your girl know and I will tell you for sure if I can do it or not because we ain't about faking the funk <laughs> I for sure am not a pro but um yes yeah, so I'm taking a blank or empty uh, fluffy blending brush it's an elf brush and I'm kind of just making sure those colors marry together nicely we don't want no harsh lines we shouldn't see where anything starts or ends. If you can see that, I'm gonna add just a tad bit more of that orange right in this outer corner and push it forward. Push it, push it real good. Y'all remember that song? Dang, I keep exposing my age. I should do a Q and A. I get to know more, a little bit more about me, Sharice. Let me know if you guys want to participate in that. I'm telling you, some of the comments that you guys be leaving really be pumping your girl's head up, like I'm over here doing something. You guys are so sweet and so um, supportive. I really appreciate it. So I am hopping into Faithful Faithful. Y'all already know. Um, this is the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm putting this down not because I'm doing the cut crease or the illusion of, but just because I'm working with a metallic kind of color and I want the metallic color just to pick up as bright as possible. So there's no specific order with this one that I'm, how I'm laying it down. I'm just laying it. So if you can see over here, there's really no, you know, normally there's uh, that cut crease illusion that I be doing with this. My cheat sheet. <laughs> but this is not what that is. Everything should just marry together nicely. But sometimes when you're working with metallic colors, and especially the palette that I, I'm pulling the blue from, it's the Makeup Revolution palette. Um, that has a lot of fallout. I'm not even gonna hold you. So, 
I want to make sure that it's sticking to something as much as possible. So I'm just spraying my brush per usual. And I'm going to go into this Makeup Revolution palette. It's really pretty though. Um, and I am going to take this metallic blue right here. Right here. Okay. So we're just going to pack that on the brush and just start packing that on. I'm not swiping or blending. Really just want to pack that on. Even though this color has fallout, it still has a really good color payoff. And I might want to consider getting this palette. It did not take all my coins and I can get some really good color payoff and good looks with this. Wouldn't say this is necessarily a fall look, but I, I mean, honestly, I think you can wear any color whenever. Wherever, whenever, however. You do whatever makes you comfortable, okay? But, yeah, so I'm just packing that on, as you can see, making sure all of my spaces are filled in. But, um, per usual, I am leaving that inner corner empty so that I can brighten it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to take that same blending brush um, that I use with all the other colors and I'm going to go back into the Elsa palette and take that same orange and then I'm just going to blend the top of that blue out. Um, and with the orange on it just kind of helps diffuse that blue just a little bit because I don't want, uh -oh, I don't want any harsh lines. When I lift that up, I see spaces and I ain't feeling that. I ain't feeling that, Jack. So, I don't want to blend too far into the blue, but I just want to diffuse that, uh, basically where the blue stops. It should transition nicely and not just stop so abruptly. So that happens with just blending. If you lose any color, don't fret. You just pack it back on, no biggie. I always say, honestly, there's no right or wrong when it comes to doing this makeup stuff. It's whatever you like. Now, blending does matter. <laughs> Don't let me confuse you. Blending definitely does matter, but honestly, make up the rules as you go. Make up the rules as you go. So that's starting to diffuse out very nicely. And I'm really just shifting back and forth. And then I'll add on a little bit more blue wherever I feel like I lost it. But that blue and that orange is marrying together quite nicely. I'm gonna take just a little bit of that blue, same blue makeup revolution, and I'm just patting it on it up just a little bit wherever I lost from blending it's YouTube life it could be stressful <laughs> it could be stressful when you have so much competition or not even competition because we're not really competing with anybody but you know it's just the the it's a lot of people doing a lot of the same thing so just trying to make sure you remain yourself and if you're authentic and consistent you know people will gravitate towards you if nothing else just because you're true to who you are so those are things I'm trying to remember myself. Okay, so that is on quite nicely. I'm gonna spray my brush. I always spray when I just wanna make sure the color picks up better. You can do it with water, setting spray, whatever floats your boat. 
Um, I'm not near my faucet though, so that's what I chose to use, just a setting spray. All right, this is another Makeup Revolution palette. They both say Makeup Revolution London. So I don't know. Oh, duh, turn it over on the back, guys. <laughs> this one is Forever Flawless. And this one, wait, this is Optimum. And this one is Constellation. Nice to know. I've been thinking they were the same name, the same thing all this time. I was like, well, that's stupid. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going into the Optimum one, and I'm taking this icy blue, and I'm just gonna put that in my corner. In my corner. I like to bring it always up just a little bit so that again, I don't like any colors just to abruptly stop. I like them to kind of marry into each other if that makes sense this is my preference not mandatory i'm focusing y'all get in the get in the frame and that is basically it i'm gonna take that there's just a little bit of blue residue left on this brush. So I'm kind of going sideways and making sure I kind of just flicker that blue into that icy blue so that it could marinate nicely. This brush doesn't have anything on it, so I'm just kind of softly putting the colors together. And that honestly is all that I do. Um, real quick before I hop off to complete this look, I am going to take, go into the Beauty Creations um, Elsa palette again, and there's purples all down here. So I just was kind of dabbing in all of them, honestly, no specific order. And I just wanted to sweep that purple underneath my eye. Just a little bit, I thought this purple and blue would look pretty together. So, no specific order. I didn't put anything in my waterline. I'm not sure if I will or not, but you know, to your, to your liking, do you boo. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but um, this is what we are working with. All right. So let me complete the look real quick and then I'll be back um, to show you how everything came together, okay? All right, y'all. So this brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully you like. <laughs> Anyways, um, all I did was my face. I added my face, my lashes um, to bring everything together. And that is pretty much it. I have this um, oversized men's cropped well, I, I cut it myself, but it's just a cropped flannel and then this little leather, little ensemble, ensemble that is from my store, um, coacertified.com. So make sure you guys check that out. And um, don't forget, please, to like, comment, subscribe down below. Also follow my Instagram, Nisha Reese and COA Certified. Again, check out COACertified.com. And per usual, I will see you in my next video. Bye.